I'm a professor at MIT in Cambridge, Massachusetts. I've been teaching there for nine years. My research in the intersection of computer science and economics develops algorithmic and mathematical tools to understand strategic behavior in complex strategic environments, such as complex games, auctions, and online markets. It could be how humans learn, it could be how humans strategically interact, but ultimately, you know, I'm interested in how to use math to understand humans. A fundamental theorem in game theory, proven by John Nash, says that no matter the complexity of a game, there's always a way for players to adopt strategies that are stable with respect to each other. Players reach such a state of equilibrium by optimizing their strategies in response to those adopted by their opponents. We discovered that in complex games, this computation may take centuries of computational time. So while they always exist, equilibria may actually be computationally unattainable. Game theory is preoccupied with complex strategic environments that are already in place, designed by someone else. Mechanism design is thinking about if you want the opposite. How do I design the system so that after people strategically interact among themselves inside my system, I get the outcome that I want? I'm from Athens, so let me use something you might see while visiting the city to provide an example. Many times, you want to sell at the same time multiple items, and running an auction for each item separately is not always optimal. So if you have, say, two paintings, maybe you want to sell each of your two paintings separately. It turns out that this is not always the best you could do. By selling them as a bundle, you induce competition among people who want one of your two paintings. By inducing competition, you may collect more money. My work has found the optimal way to sell multiple items, generalizing Myerson's celebrated single-item auction theory. I've been away from Greece uh, for about a third of my life now. And, you know, uh, obviously, you know, nostalgia about Greek things comes up uh, once in a while. I like exploring and learning about my culture. The more I learn about Greek culture, the more my perspective towards Greek identity changes. I like to ask questions and not take things for granted. I feel Greece is basically like a gifted area.